All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a beautiful piece, but uh, as uh, you might notice, uh, um, this is uh, some video that I had to dub because I had some microphone issues and... Uh, Again, there's not going to be any sound from the video, so it's just me talking and commenting the actual uh, video that I just uh, recorded with the wrong audio. So uh, this is the pouch, of course, uh, which I'm opening up and I'm about to show you a, uh, this fantastic piece right over here. As you notice, there's not going to be any sound in this, uh, uh, in this video. Uh, this is a full custom knife uh, made by Glenn Areho. In phonics, it's uh, uh, some uh, a piece of art. This is uh, where art meets uh, function, and uh, this is a, a knife. It's a folding knife, of course, but it's done with superb uh, level of craftsmanship, as you can see. It's a flipper. Uh, it is a larger knife. Um, it's uh, made in titanium, carbon fiber, and damascus steel. So prime materials, prime finishes. Um, and I'm going to go throughout this uh, video. Uh, probably I'm going to show you some sound that you can just you have just to imagine uh, how this uh, thing sounds, but uh, uh, it's pretty unique. Anyways, you have a, a bolster, a uh, back bolster, as you can see, that's... Um, um, it comes from the scale, like the same bolster, like the front bolster, let's call it that way, uh, um, from the same scales. On the back, you see this beautiful damascus steel backspace with kind of like some faceted um, parts, like on the edges around the top part, uh, matching the spine on the blade and matching the back spacer. Look at that. It's, uh, it's crazy. I've never seen this uh, kind of finish uh, anywhere. Uh, the back spacer is floating. It's absolutely flush. You cannot uh, feel the uh, any step uh, uh, going on on like between the materials, the uh, pocket clip or oh, it's um, back, uh, it's made in damascus steel matching the back spacer. It's flowing and following the contour of the handle, and it, it has um, it is mounted with hidden hardware. So you're gonna need a special tool to uh, take this guy apart. That's uh, just a custom pivot, uh, uh, but it's uh, uh, disassemblable with a spanner. So that could be done, but. Uh, to uh, take care of the scales and uh, the pocket, uh, pocket clip, you're going to need a custom tool, which I don't have. That's why there's not going to be any um, disassembled video. The blade is just a sinuous, gorgeous uh, set of curves, a double recurve, uh, edge uh, sharpening and finger choil, uh, thumb ramp uh, with no jimping. F great, great feel, even if the um, the, the, the shape uh, suggests uh, otherwise i can tell you it's very comfortable even if this matches the uh, definition of uh, uh, art knife so uh, you can see on the inside the scales have been jeweled you can uh, have a glimpse of the hardware which is hidden and uh, uh, fastened uh, from the inside uh, via a custom tool um, on the inside you can see uh, on, the, on the inside you can see the signature right over there very very cool uh, carbon fiber this is like floating backspacer with eight washers uh, suspending the spacer and creating this effect which is honestly pretty cool uh, you can see the etching of the damascus steel from the inside and uh, that is uh, you know a testament of this uh, maker's uh, craftsmanship so here is going to be the weight uh, measurement because this is a, this is a big boy and it's uh, uh, going to be 7.05 ounces in the pocket so very heavy uh, compared to some uh, other more let's say regular um, offerings uh, on on the on the knife scene so this is like more on the um, heavy side uh, but the level of finish i'm telling you it's uh, unprecedented really really cool unique finishes look at the just the spine of the blade with the facets uh, matching the backspacer and the top uh, it's just like a, a little neat detail that you don't see too often uh, in uh, in the custom uh, word 
um, uh, it's a flipper. Uh, so the action is, uh, I remember it was uh, feeling maybe a little bit uh, uh, gritty. So I think at one point I just added some nano oil, maybe here without uh, uh, bagging my camera around. I think I'm, this is the point where I'm grabbing some nano oil. There you go. I'm just adding a little dab on the detent and uh, uh, five weights nano oil. Yeah. And um, yeah, just a little dab to smoothen out the closing action because this is a, a pretty much a brand new knife with uh, no, uh, which, which still needs to break, uh, to be broken in. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's no drop shot guillotine effect. Just a little nudge is going to get that blade in a closed position uh, pretty easily. Uh, the... Um the beauty of this uh, of this knife, of course, is the materials employed. My favorite stuff, titanium carbon fiber with a little fancy touch of uh, uh, damas steel in the pivot collars and in the backspacer and in the pocket clip. So uh, very, very sinuous, very elegant, uh, artistic piece for sure. Uh, lots of work went on this one. This part is very interesting, like the cut uh, to to uh to make the the lock bar as you can see look at that uh, extends onto the inside of the bolster very very unique uh, uh feature never seen this on any other maker except for this guy feel is great in the hand not very i don't i don't remember any hot spot going on into this one so i mean the the look checks out i I, I, I show the sound, uh, of course, uh, and the uh, feel um, is just, just amazing. Too bad you cannot hear how this guy sounds. And uh, again, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.